but this month is to celebrate this our fourth year anniversary we will never forget where we come from and why we start for the really passion and and want to really uh, support and help every single nail tech nail lover to achieve their dream and we want to give it in the box so then that way you can know that it doesn't matter whatever you do with crystal placement you will never have to worry about your clients to oh my god is she's gonna call you in like in two days and say oh all my kids crystal is just keep catching on it it's just getting in pains you know and i don't want to wing it looks so cute but then i'm not gonna wing it um no because it would not gonna catching it if i put in a precision glue gels on the crystal so what i do i'm gonna do a little exam exam a little like testing here check 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 and you feel scratches in some spot like scratchy right here scratchy scratchy right here scratchy right here right here you're going to squeeze just a little bit the other end here is had the precision brush so then if you need like a larger area which is um frames and the metal beads here you can use those with uh you can use a brush with those frame to seal it even faster and a larger surface without having to squeeze a lot from a little precision needle so now i'm not seals it on the top of the crystal you see that i didn't cover and then completely like or coating it because you are not supposed to coating like the same thing you would not coating your diamond rings it's going to taking away from all the facets and the cut from the crystals so we're going to key it for 60 seconds after you feel like and then each time you're going to squeeze out you're going to using just that much a little go a long way you don't need a whole big shebang to get your crystal seals you don't want your crystal to become really sparkle and also didn't have tons of um lie of the lumps of all of the extra precision glue gels along with this it's just taking away from the final looks and you want to seal it but it looks really nice and flawless so i'm going to check on the edges right here if it does you go into the edges in a gap and you're going to squeeze just a little bit in and it's going to seal everything for you it's going to just um it's going to blending into all the gap that you're missing and it seals completely for you and also keep in mind you can definitely go back and do it more than it just one time and just make sure you are going to flash gear for 30 seconds and then you can all go ahead and do it again and then i usually doing it and then check everything and i'm make sure the client's gonna you know like testing it feel it first and run through their hair first or whatever it is so then you won't not catching anything at all because i can able to seal completely before they leave the salon okay so now we are going to set a lot of his metals um frame uh, metal charms right here so i'm gonna close it i'm gonna show you on the other end so now here is the other end i'm using it when i'm doing bigger like a uh, metal uh charms which is you're gonna using the precision like end, and i'm gonna brush it on you see the, how i brush it on the metal like a seashells right here right here if you need like more precision glue gels you know, it's like really covers all them, but I didn't seal on the top of the, my crystal, avoiding all the crystal surface. Only surround with the crystal, not on the top of the crystal, but the frame, yes. Here for 60 seconds, but let me show the camera really quick first. One second. <laughs> 